Keep fighting! Cut. 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 Shadow missing a glove. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Two hands, and they must have gloves on them. If it does not have a glove, you will look silly. When we were starting the production, everyone was saying to me, "Do you actually understand that this is a really big production?" Sometimes there were days when we had uh, over 300 people on set, and that was including the cast and crew. And that was something to handle with the battle scenes and uh, all the fights and all the kids, meantime, waiting um, at the back, you know, for, for the time to, for them to be filmed, etc. I don't think I realized until we started the production how really huge it was. Some people might have an impression that we were doing a martial arts movie and it wasn't a martial arts movie, we were doing a fantasy film and uh, the shadows the army of shadows, the, the bad guys who kidnap everyone, were played by martial artists indeed. However, we did not use any particular martial arts style. What we did is we invited our fight choreographer to come up with a fantasy, fantasy not only fight style for the shadows, but also the movements, the way they, they moved, uh, the way they walked was a fantasy style and it was closely related to martial arts. However, it was different in a way that was invented especially for the film. There's rattlesnakes out here? Yeah. Um, cool. Can we do that team from... Uh, That's where they call it, Rattlesnake Point. Uh, I play Donlor, and Donlor is the uh, sort of guardian and mentor for Frank. When Frank appears in the world of Attic Town, I'm sent by the evil overlords of Attic Town, who sort of oppress all the people that live there, to go and find him and help break the uh, prophecy. Yeah. What? This is the... Your big papa is a tree? Are you kidding me? You want the tree to help us? Working with a 13-year-old actor, that was a challenge because it forced me to um, open up my heart a little bit to people because I'm not used to having somebody who's that young around me and things like that. And I find it's almost easier to talk to young people today than adults because they don't have any preconceived ideas about things and you know they're very funny and they like to make jokes and especially Nathan he was always always ready to crack me up. They must be ghosts. What? They are ghosts. Uh, um, we went to the door and at the door you say I'm not looking back. So? This is I'm not looking back. I play Caroline which is Frank's sister and um, we separate in the beginning. What on earth is going on? <coughs> Let go of me! I can't breathe! What's happening? What are you laughing at? Come in and show yourself! You Someone's playing oh, tricks on us. Scared. It's not funny. Somebody's playing tricks on us! It's not funny! Shh! And now, come out and... Show yourself! In the beginning, she's a little frightened, timid by the by the environment around her when we hear noises. It's Frank who's the brave one and she's kind of scared. Even though she should be protecting Frank, she's kind of a little more shy. But after, when she loses Frank, there's, she finds this courage inside her she never knew she had, which is so great about the, um, the character of Caroline because she has that transition that I guess it's great for an actor to play. I play the uh, role of Frank, the lead. Yay! But, um, He's a uh, really fun-loving character. He's uh, witty and heroic. That Nathan Pigeon guy, though, watch out. Watch out. He could be trouble. He's just a kid. Could be nothing, really. Well, good luck to you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, hey, anybody, can I get directions? What's going on here? Gee. <laughs> it's really fun to play an adventurous guy because I, uh, I have the urge for adventure and I, I really want to have adventure in my life. So it's good to be in an adventure in a film because I don't really have it in my real life, which I would really like.
basic problem. I think. Anybody? Uh, what well, I think you do with your big lights. Big lights are very strange. Working with Joanna Kern is a blast. If you ever get the opportunity, I highly recommend it. Uh, not only is she a wonderfully talented and uh, exceptionally gifted individual, she's also a lot of fun. And I think she had a great ability to empower not only me, but everyone else on the cast and crew. So that even if you were, for instance, me and spending some time in front of the camera, or you were one of the people that were coming out to help as a volunteer or one of the extras, she really made you feel a part of the community. And it didn't matter whether or not you were front and center or somewhere far in the background. Everybody there really felt part of the group. She is amazing. Uh, she is so hardworking. She's the director, the producer, uh, the writer. So she's, she's really worked hard to put this film together. She has a great vision for this film. And I just hope like, I was able to fulfill part of that vision. Go back. Bounce. Go around. Bounce. Bounce back. Good. What? The can? Some sirs and some shadows. Go on the other side of the shadow, this way. The can, huh? Yes. You're much taller now. Your voice has changed too. Are you sure you're my shadow? I grew. I love fantasy, I'm a dreamer. Not just entertainment, but our needs are fulfilled. The need for, uh, for fairness, the need for truth, the need for happy ending. It's all what we get in fantasy. A lot of kids will fall in love with this film. They'll watch it over and over until the parents get sick of it. People all ages would really, really enjoy this film. Um, everybody likes to have their you know, realism suspended for a little while. And this is great. It's a funny movie. There's great moments of humor in it. There's um, some really touching moments. It speaks to people on many levels. It, uh, it covers the full range of emotions. You'll laugh, you'll cry. You'll come back and see the second and third episodes. Even though this is not a film strictly for kids and teenagers, but it addresses uh, the young person in all of us. So uh, that's what it is. It's a fairy tale for everyone. Okay.